Okay, this is this is test number one, and what I'm testing is how I look on camera when I'm reading from Unlimited Power by Anthony Robbins. I want to see how I look with regards to my tone. If I represent confidence, or if you're looking at me and thinking, oh boy, there's no confidence there, it's just, it's just not there. Is it the tone? Is it the words? I want to see, and I want to do that from a perspective of watching myself on camera. So, I'm going to read a paragraph, and I'm going to read it in different tones, just to see which one really comes out on camera. So here we go. This is page 47. It's the last paragraph on page 47 of the book. If we take control of our communication with ourselves and produce visual, auditory, and kinesthetic signals of what we, of what we do want, outstanding positive results can be consistently produced even in situations where the odds for success seem limited or non-existent. The most powerful and effective managers, coaches, parents, and motivators are those who can represent the circumstances of life to themselves and to others in a way that signals success to the nervous system in spite of seemingly hopeless external stimuli. They keep themselves and others in a state of total resourcefulness so that they can continue to take action until they succeed. You've probably heard about Mel Fisher. He's the man who for 17 years searched for an undersea buried treasure, finally discovering over $400 million worth of gold and silver bullion. In an article I read about him, one of the crew members was asked, why he had stayed on so long. He replied that Mel just had the ability to get everyone excited. Every day Fisher told himself and the crew, today's the day, and at the end of the day, tomorrow's the day. But just saying it was not enough. He also said it con congruently in his tone of voice, the pictures in his mind, and his feelings. Every day he put himself in a state so that he would continue to take action until he succeeded. He's a classic example of the ultimate success formula. He knew his outcome. He took action. He learned from what worked. If it didn't, he tried something else until he succeeded. Okay, now that's the first part of tone. It's not really using my body language particularly well, but I just want to see how, how confident I look when doing that. Also, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to stand up and read the next, the next paragraph. So here we go.